What many of you continue to reach out with questions about the coronavirus, the latest booster shot, what's happening now, and joining us, as always, is Dr. Malika Marshall. So let's begin. James writes, I am 88 years old and just recovering from shingles. How long should I wait before getting my third COVID booster and annual flu shot? I plan to fly to Houston in early December. Well, of course, we encourage you to talk to your own doctor about the timing of your booster mm. shots. But I would say as long as you're feeling better from the shingles, it should be fine to go ahead and get mm. your bivalent booster. And you definitely want to give yourself enough time because it can take two to three weeks to build immunity. Yeah. So certainly before you go on that trip, you want to make sure you have plenty of time to build immunity. Yeah, shingles is so painful. You can see why people are just very careful around sure. it. Melissa asks, with regards to this new booster, is is there really much difference between Moderna or Pfizer? or are they equal protection? Yeah, so there probably isn't a significant difference between mm -hmm. the two. I mean, the Moderna dose is a little bit higher than the Pfizer dose, mm -hmm. but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's any more effective, so either one is perfectly fine. Uh, John says, I came down with a continuing cough and wheezing three weeks ago and was diagnosed with pneumonia. I never tested positive for COVID. Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, I would say if you got sick and you tested repeatedly over a number of days and you never tested positive for COVID, you certainly have good, had, it's certainly possible you developed a different respiratory virus, mm. got sick from that, and then with any of these viruses, you can get a complication of bacterial pneumonia, which requires antibiotics. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, any RSV, flu, we're seeing all kinds of viruses out there that cause yeah. cold and flu-like symptoms. But if you tested negative repeatedly, chances are you didn't have COVID. All right, and here is a non-COVID related question. Chris writes, I'm a 55 year old female who was diagnosed with RSV on Sunday. I have felt the sickest I remember feeling as an adult. Can you address that this is not just a baby or child's disease? Good point. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Anybody can get RSV. Mm -hmm. um, and while we tend to worry about the babies and seniors um, in terms of getting really sick, Older kids and yeah. adults can get it as well, and usually it's just a, a bad cold. Mm. Um, certainly anybody who has underlying health conditions um, can be at increased risk of getting more severe RSV. But I remember before the pandemic, we weren't really testing older kids and adults for RSV. Right. Now we are because we're so worried about this triple demic that might be mm. coming our way with RSV, COVID, and the flu all happening at the same time. Yeah. So now we're seeing kids and adults test positive for RSV. Before, we would have just said you had a nasty cold. We yeah. wouldn't have known exactly what was causing it. We didn't see a triple demic coming, but at least we're better prepared now yes, to definitely. know what we need to do. Definitely. Dr. Malika Marshall, thank you so much. And of course, Dr. Malika offers her best advice, but as always, consult your personal doctor before making any decisions about your health. If you do have a question for Dr. Malika about coronavirus or any other medical issues, here are the three ways to reach her. Email Dr. Malika at cbs.com on Twitter, at Malika Marshall, or you can Facebook message her too, Dr. Malika Marshall.